Let's take a look at another example of how to use our R values. R, I'm a pirate. Um, and what we have is fueleconomy.gov gives a city highway fuel economy for makes and models of vehicles back in 1984. Wow, that was takes me back to my day. Well, in any case, back to the problem. The scatter plot displays the city and highway fuel economy for random samples of 10 and 221 vehicles. Neat. All right. So the correlation between city fuel economy and highway fuel economy for these 10 vehicles is 0.917. Interpret this value. Well, what does that 0.97 say? Well, the relationship between what we got here, between city fuel economy, fuel economy, and um, a highway fuel economy fuel economy is or has a what we see here well this r value is positive so it's positive positive um it also is in the nines so it is a strong um, linear relationship. That is what we know. Okay. Um, so that's a very strong, okay. So fairly strong, but fairly strong, positive, strong linear relationship. All right. So it's a positive and strong linear relationship. Now, from here, if the fuel economy was measured in feet per gallon, all right, feet per gallon. Uh, rather than miles per gallon, how would this value correlation be affected? Um, it wouldn't, all right? Um, the R value, this correlation value, um, does not, is not correlating to units. So it's just a correlation between these. So um, with that, um, it would have no effect. There would be no, all right, effect. Uh, effect to the correlation. Correlation. Um, units. Unit change. Hey, unit change. Unit changes have no effect on correlation. And that's what we know. All right, so that's cool. What other thing question we have here? Well, a Rolls Royce Ghost, ooh, EWB gets 14.4 city miles, so right there, and it's 25.8. So that one is right there. What effect does this point have in the correlation? Well, let's look at this. Now, if this point was way up here, all right that would weaken the correlation because that's an outlier that is not on the linear pattern. However, if you kind of do like a little, that point appears to be in the linear parent pattern and it's an outlier that follows the linear pattern. So we would say that point strengthens the linear pattern. So um, the point um, at 14.4, MPG, all right, city, and 25.5, all right, MPG, highway, strengthens the linear, um, the correlation, because follows a linear pattern. If it is outside that linear pattern, then it would weaken it. But it's not outside the linear pattern. It follows the linear pattern, so it strengthens the correlation. All right, there we have it, my friends. Another great example of how we can interpret the R value and how that tells us about the um, direction and strength of our linear relationship. Um, also talked about units and how units have no effect on the correlation. And finally, looking at these outliers, if they follow the pattern, that's good. If they are outside the pattern, all right, that would weaken 
our r correlation value. All right, I hope this helps you out. Good luck and God bless the rest of your problems.